portato una ventata d'aria fresca nel basket italiano con il suo stile di gioco veloce e spumeggiante, plasmato negli anni in NBA come assistente di Mike D'Antoni. Grazie a lui una piazza storica come Varese non si pone limiti per il futuro. When I first came to uh, Varese I made the decision it was uh, you know, to bet on myself and challenge myself um, professionally and my decision was you know, to see what I could do and be a head coach again and I think it was a very successful season and I'm, I'm very proud of what our group did. When I uh, you know, grew up my grandfather was a was a basketball coach Lou Olson at Arizona and I grew up and he was my my first mentor someone I looked up to um someone that made me love the game of basketball and um uh, you know throughout this journey I've been fortunate to work for many great um head coaches uh, throughout my career especially in the the professional ranks with Kevin McHale Nick Nurse Mike D'Antoni Chauncey Billups that I've been able to learn from from the best and so When you're a coach, you like to take a lot of things from other coaches that you watch, but also coaches that you work directly with. And I've been, you know, very fortunate to work with uh, some of the best basketball minds in the world. There's so many great coaches in this league. Um, you know, the coaches I didn't know before I got over here and, and the coaches in the league have been nice, welcomed me with open arms and, and been very, uh, you know, we've had great discussions before the game. Um, you know, a coach that I, I hadn't known yet is Sergio at Bologna. Um, and I was able to meet him for a lunch when he was here, when we played him the first time. And he was just just great to get to know him, talk about the league a little bit. It was, it was early December. Um, and then just watching his teams play, just their, their style, their rhythm, how he does things that, you know, I had an adapt to as a coach. And he was uh, one of the coaches I looked at a lot and watched a lot of their film to kind of add some things to our team. But Aza is a, a special spot. I mean, it was incredible. I, I had heard stories about it from Um, people before I came over here, Mike D'Antoni had been in the league. He had told me all about the fans here. Um, you know, the team had told me about it during the interview process, but uh, they didn't explain how great it really was. And the fans have been incredible for us all year. We've had 12 straight sellouts. Um, and it's just, they've been the energy behind us. We've got 11 players, but you know, the fans should be, you know, player number 12 with us the whole time that they've, uh, they, they've got us some big wins this year. Um, and they've been, you know, not only just at the arena when you're out in town, when you're at the square, uh, when you're at a restaurant, the grocery store, you know, they come up and give love to the players, give love to me. So it's a, it's a definitely a special spot in a, a basketball city. You know, two of the guys, uh, John Johnson, Markel Brown, I had coached in the G League, so I, I knew, you know, what they were bringing, the energy they were bringing, but then The other nine that I got to meet when we're here have just been incredible. You know, pre-practice when we do workouts, they bring energy, they bring the intensity. Uh, we have a good vibe with the group. They're great practice players. They, they compete every single day in practice when we do uh, live stuff and they bring it over the games. And then, you know, the thing I love about our team the most is off the court. They have fun with each other. We laugh on bus rides. We laugh at team meals. When we're in the hotel, we hang out. If we see each other in town, uh, you know, we sit and we just talk about life. So I think, you know, being a basketball coach is one thing, but you also, you know, want to be a friend of these guys. And, you know, hopefully, you know, these 11 players that, that I was fortunate to coach this year, we have a relationship with for the rest of each other's lives and support each other and, you know, have a, have a friendship um, till the end. What's my schedule like on an off day? Um, off day, I like to relax a little bit in the morning and then, um, you know, it's right to film because our off days are usually when we're prepping um, for our next game and, you know, we're, we're studying what we've done in the past against maybe the opponent or what we did the game before and, you know, we're getting ready, watching a bunch of film on the, the next uh, team that we're about to play. And I know I usually do it from my house so I can just kind of be focused and have some music playing while I watch some videos and our assistant coaches are doing it at their houses too. And then we all come back the next day and work. And then, you know, in the evening on an off day, I like to go to one of the nice restaurants here in Brace, have a, have a little dinner and just, just relax and, and enjoy the time here. <laughs>